This whole truck is filled, and now this one is practically filled. That's my mom farting, by the way. I don't know if it's the mold that I consumed. Oh. What mold? You're gonna eat it. Okay, I'm gonna Take eat it. Yeah. I'm gonna eat rotten food just for you guys. <laughs> I have been having massive shards. Hello, hello, hello. Hit me with your joke, sir. It's not a joke. Okay, your okay. life is a joke. Your face is a so, joke. I'm You're looking fine. for suggestions. If anybody knows something about cars, so I'm looking for a car, maybe price range around like 800,000 to a million. I don't really want Ferraris. And I also try Lamborghinis. I think they're okay. You know, yeah, they're whatever. I want something that's more effect effective, uh, maybe high horsepower, but still very good controlling. Something really sleek, modern, and uh, probably crisp. Oh, yes. So uh, I can use crisp. it for my, for my phone screensaver. <laughs> Imagine you walk into a Ferrari dealership and you're like, listen, I want something around a million dollars, okay? Custom interior, red stitching, Ferrari red out, you know, exterior. They show you one. They're like, we've been hiding this for a VIP client. You get taken into like a crazy underground suite. This probably doesn't exist, okay? And then you're like, wow, this is the one. Okay, bye. <laughs> Can you imagine? Go! vlog listen 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 this is pretty much our last night in this house with furniture on not technically our last night in this house but technically our last night in this house with furniture so for the next couple of nights we're gonna be sleeping in sleeping bags not even sleeping bags not even sleeping an air pads. mattress but he decided to go the economical route and he ordered us some sleeping pads which essentially is exactly how you imagine. Imagine a giant menstrual pad and you just lay on it. But probably not as comfortable. So Maybe. sleeping bag, the difference is <laughs> the sleeping bag is uncomfortable. <laughs> Two hours later. And it's financially responsible. And where did you buy the sleeping pads? Sam's Club. And what did you use? What did I say? Hey babe, you better use, you better check. Rakuten, babe. Rakuten. 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 Craziest thing ever. I have been using Rakuten, formerly known as Ebates, before you guys even knew me. Before my sister even had a baby, my sister introduced me to it. She was like, you gotta check this thing out because there's something called the World Wide Internet. This is the World Wide Web. This is how long I've been using it, okay? Anytime you shop at a www dot, make sure to check out Rakuten. That's what my sister told me and it's just been a habit of mine, okay? I'm obsessed with it. Rakuten is one of the biggest cashback sites which partners with over 20 2,500 big name brands. Like when I say big name brands, I'm talking about Sam's Club where we bought our sleeping pads, okay? I'm talking about Sephora where I buy my skincare. Princess Polly, have you heard of her? I get a bunch of my clothes from there, love it. And more importantly, guess what I bought? Crocs. I literally bought these Crocs to move in. I thought, you know what? This with socks is a look at the airport. I spilled ramen juice on my white Crocs. I, I got cash back on my Crocs purchase. I mean, I'm obsessed so much that I'm about to buy my mom and my fiance and my sister a pair of Crocs. I'm converting everyone, I tell you. You need to check out Rakuten, cause it's freaking free. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you. And on top of that, did you know this week is National Friendship Week? Why do I say it like that? She's just a little salty, she doesn't have friends, okay? It's National Friendship Week, and so Rakuten hit me up and was like, hey, you wanna, you wanna refer your friends? And I'll give him 30 bucks to sign up. A $30 sign up bonus. I said, really? Why well, don't got friends? So now it's going to y'all, okay? $30. You sign up using my link in the description and you get a $30 sign up bonus. And on top of that, if you start referring your friends, they can get $30 too. You get $30. You get $30. I mean, this is like, it's just money falling out of the sky. And you're like, wait, Steph, like, I'm not one of your tech savvy friends. Like, I'm not that. Like, it just sounds so intricate. What do I have to do? What do I do? 
I'm gonna tell you, I am not a tech savvy person and Rakuten is super easy to use. I personally love the extension just because it makes it easier when I'm online shopping. I go to any website and Rakuten tells me if they either have cash back available or if I can use a promo code. So it just does all the work for me. But if you don't like extensions, you can just go on their website, click shop now and shop as you normally do on the regular store's website. You get that coupon code. You get the cash back just seamlessly applied to your account. So make sure to check out Rakuten, linked in the description. Make sure to call up your friends, okay? Because that $30, you know? And thank you Rakuten for sponsoring today's video. And let's get into the packing, because it's officially my last day. I mean, you know we mean business when the rice cooker is on top of a cardboard box. The rice cooker doesn't have rice in it anymore. It's not cooking rice right now, it's just ready to go. Side note, if you hear me breathing heavily, like just panting, like, really? <laughs> huh? Heavily? Heavily! <laughs> if you hear me panting, sounds like I just ran in the Olympics, you know? Seems like I just swam. I'm on the rugby team. It's also not because I don't exercise and suddenly I'm exercising, doing a lot of physical force with this moving. No, it's because I have crazy allergies. For whatever reason, I forgot to take my allergy medication this morning, so... I'm just breathing heavily into your ears all day. <sighs> Mom also keeps track of boxes. I was just wondering if you guys do tally marks like this. You know how in that's America... How we do it. Chinese, really? Yeah, okay. that's a Chinese character. Oh, it means really? Chen, like straight up. Whoa! But we use it to count because every mark is five. Ah. So Americans do four marks and then And slash. then a five, yeah. yeah. We do it like that too. I thought this was so complex. I thought that my mom was possessed and this was her secret murder recipe to kill me. Are we packed, you ask? No. The movers come eight in the morning tomorrow. It's about to be sunset time. I, I still haven't packed all of these candles. I gotta pack all of my wooden boards. It's a mess. Tell me why I have red lobster cheddar bay biscuit mix just sitting around. Why haven't I packed this yet? If you travel, you get on an airplane with less than this type of bag, with a bag that's not the same size as you, that's psychopathic, okay? I've seen people that just travel with like a tiny purse. They get onto a plane. I'm like, where's your stuff? I'm just saying. Normally I would be standing in front of our gin pantry and I would think to myself, wow, it looks delicious. I definitely want to eat every single thing in here. But ever since yesterday, I have been having massive shards. I don't know if it's the moving anxiety. I don't know if it's the mold that I consumed. Oh. What mold? I almost thought about wearing a diaper. I was like, should I order some diapers? Cause it was just leaking. Sorry, 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 sorry. Play the, roll the clip. <laughs> so we're moving. We're officially kicking off the rest of the moving vlogs by cleaning my pantry. And what does that mean? That means eating everything that I can possibly eat before I stuff my stomach so full that I pass out. My mom has friends in LA. She's got more friends in LA than I have friends. So they took their pickings of everything that they needed. But a lot of the stuff, I mean, they didn't want to take because... Ew. Because look, okay? Look this is that. why they didn't want to take it. You're thinking, Stephanie, I mean, this has nothing to do with moving. This is not an excuse. Why do you have moldy food in your fridge? I'm going to explain to you. You're going to eat it. Okay, I'm going to take a bite. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Tell them how much you're sacrificing to do this. My health, my well-being. Uh-huh. And you're eating moldy food and in return, what do you ask for? I ask for you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, <laughs> and you know what? If you got some free time while you're driving, you could always check out my podcast Rotten Mango. I'm gonna eat rotten food just for you guys. Woo! <laughs> how does it taste? How does it taste? Really gross. Oh god. I think it's a little weird. I think it's a little weird. You think you're being a little dramatic? I think you're not being dramatic enough. Your your fiance, your beautiful fiance is about to die! Just so you guys know, it came like this. <laughs> and these are food color dyes. These are fake rotten food. It's not rotten. But it did stay in our fridge for how long? Like, Three weeks? Oh, that could be bad, huh? Yeah, no, it tastes Because cake, cakes don't last that long. You might be in trouble. Okay. Wow. And poisoning! Woo! Here's the thing about buying moldy food. I wanted to do a mukbang where I ate moldy food, and then I just kept putting it off because I was like, aren't people gonna be offended by that? Why? Because, you know, I have the privilege of being able to not eat moldy food, <laughs> so oh I was just God. worried that, like, you know, people might be like, this feels classist, that you went out of your way to buy moldy food, but it's really not moldy food, it's actually food coloring, it's a cake, it's supposed to taste delicious. I was back and forth, like, people are gonna cancel me, they're gonna be offended, what do I do? And then, um, turns out, 
it got rotten, so I should be canceled now. Here's what we're gonna do. I did find some things. We're gonna go into my pantry. I have to pack all of my ramen, all of my dry goods in the pantry. Some of those things are expired. I might still bring them, you know? Cause does ramen really ever expire? No. But I had these in the freezer. So this is gonna be my meal today. The pizza cupcake. Thankfully, I had uh, packed all of the, what do you call it? My mom packed all of our cooking pans, right? So I started freaking out, like, baking oh my gosh. Sheets. Baking sheets, what do I do? How do I, how do I cook this? He said, just put it straight on the rack. I was like, are you crazy? What is wrong with you? Do you know how the kitchen works? No, you don't, get out. So then I found these. I mean, this is a match made in heaven, is it not? There were some stars aligned. They wanted me to eat these pizza bagels before we leave. So we're gonna put them on this, throw them in the oven. In the meantime, let me take you to the pantry that exists in our gym. Can I be really honest with you guys? Like, just full transparency. It smells like pizza bagels in here. It smells like $2.99, Target, Fillsbury, Pizza bagels in here. I mean, they look delicious. They look like so much dough. They look like flat <laughs> I just have it. I mean, it just looks weird. I don't know. I don't like these ones. I like the ones with the pepperoni, I but these think... ones that just go in, it feels weird. Okay, I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna take one for the team, and I'll yes. try it first, you know? So, here we go. I got no cheese. I mean, bad? it's not bad. It's just like eating a piece of bread. So, I'm gonna break it apart. And try the middle. Bruh. What? <laughs> what? Pizza bagel? Pizza bagel. It's just the worst construction ever. My first bite, all I got was bread. My second bite, I took a bite in the center. The whole center came out. That's my mom farting, by the way. I'm kidding. <laughs> my mom is doing tape. <laughs> So now that you guys know the context behind why I'm not that excited to go through all of the stuff, this is my mukbang pantry. You guys have seen it before. I'm going to give you a close up, which by the way, for some reason, something deep inside of my rectum is telling me that this treadmill is going to break in transit. I don't know why. Ningo, this is not your place unless you want the shards too. So we've got all of these ramens. I'm going to go through each and every drawer. We're going to pack all the ramens that aren't expired. Um, I think most of them aren't expired. So we've got the hot pots. Okay, let's do this. Personal question, right? June 2021. Do I keep? Do I? You're fine. I'm fine. I think like as long as before June uh, 2025. 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, that Sorry. Champong. The jambo. I don't know why they called it champong. This boy got so thick -ums. He can't exit this way. He has... Well, now he's scared. He's terrified. He's petrified. Timbers, he shivers. This is for my sister and Andrew, if you guys are watching this. Ghost pepper noodles. A whole drawer of Indomies and top ramen. Why are you licking your lips? A few moments later. Hello. Hello. You know that treadmill is kind of dirty, right? <laughs> We're all dirty. Life is dirty. There is nothing in this world that's not dirty. Here's the plan. You're gonna pass me snacks during this break. I'm gonna munch. Um, do you want some pop-in cooking? Mini donut that you have to cook? <laughs> Why would I want to make a pop-in cooking mini donut right now? Some dry seaweed? Some... Kelp. <laughs> you don't want kelp? You're catch... <laughs> Look at this cheetahs. Extra flaming hot. Holy cow. Look at that. <laughs> I hate sitting in jean shorts because why does it always make it look like I'm just wearing a giant diaper on the inside? <laughs> it says excesso calories. Does that mean excessive calories? <laughs> Fear not because we've got Cheetos Comillos. Can you imagine if I sat here and said Cheetos Calmillos? <laughs> <laughs> Camelo Caballo. Camelos. What? That looks nothing like the picture. What? It's red. Why does it give me a brown one? I'm miserable. <laughs> <laughs> no sugar. Oh, okay. No sugar. It's one, that type of tea, huh? It's that type of tea. Oh, that's kind of refreshing. Oh, man. You're an old Chinese man now. <laughs> Can you move my fingers? Just kidding. <laughs> Do I sniff them? Do I sniff the teachers? Just kidding. <laughs> I think we should go to bed. Forget! Oh, we have 
have to pack everything tonight. Literally, oh, okay, my mom I. estimates that we're gonna be pulling an all nighter. Not just you and me, but my mom included. The dogs too. It's gonna be a shit show. We have to pack. I want to say there's like 20% of this whole house left. I'm never gonna make it there. Don't yawn. <laughs> Don't yawn. <laughs> Do you want to die? It's four o'clock in the morning. Mingo, you don't need to be doing this. So I set aside two of her favorite toys. I'm gonna put one in each carrier. These are her least favorite toys right now. But of course, of course, the minute that I try to pack them, these are her goddamn favorite and I, I better not even touch them. I better not even think about it. Look at her, she's getting mad. To you live from the jungle. Don't I look like I'm at Yosemite? Oh my God, my shirt says Yosemite. Did you know there was a serial killer there that I talked about in a pot? Stop it, get some help. What am I doing at four in the morning right now? Here are the updates. Almost everything is packed. We probably have to go about another hour or two. <laughs> Like, look at this. The crocs are holding up nice. I mean, this just looks like we're just moving in, no? This bath rug that I'm just drying last minute. And what was normally a beautiful bedroom has now turned into boxes. The bed has been stripped of the blankets. We're gonna pack the blankets. I think tonight we're just gonna use like a small little a throw. And then we've gotta pack that. This couch is in here because we had to make room for boxes and it's just a mess. Okay. It's officially happening. We have like six movers in the house right now and I've got music playing. I ordered Starbucks for everyone, but everything seems to be boxed. <sighs> I'm already out of breath. Let me show you guys the situation. So all of these are going, the boxes. These are the things that I'm taking, which honestly, it seems like a lot. I've got my blanket. You didn't believe that I could ever finish packing this closet, but I did it. And then in here, we've got the dogs. I gave Tiger his anti-anxiety medicine, but he's still pretty anxious. I'm gonna keep coming in here and checking up on them. But Mango is obsessed with her little airport carrier, so she's already in there. I'm just trying to open them and give them like this is their only place to stay, because tomorrow night they're gonna be in this thing for like five hours, so I just want them to get used to it. We are officially one hour into moving. You guys remember the wall of boxes? It's now gone. It's like the old living room again. It feels like I should just be living here. I shouldn't be moving, but that's not what's happening, so. Update on the closet, they're so quick. All of the boxes are out. I think we just need to take this out, but like I said, all of this is staying. Does not have one lone chopstick left in their closet. I came in to check on the dogs. This one is still not doing great. Why are you so anxious? We would never need you. Mega has not given a care in the world. This is her first time getting out of the dog carrier just now. She's been in there the whole time. She's going back in. Okay, the movers are efficient. That's what I'll have to say. Here's my thing about hiring movers is I feel completely useless and I feel really annoyed with myself that I just stand there and I look stupid. I wish I could help, but I feel like the more that I help, I'm just getting in their way because I gotta process to everything. I love you. Stephanie is so useful <laughs> during all the heavy lifting. Okay, this whole truck is filled, and now this one is practically filled. We almost had to get three trunks, but guys, it's working. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, Woo! and this is just your regular schmegular vlog. I'm still living in this house, it's still filled with furniture. Absolutely nothing has changed. What is this? This feels like deja vu of exactly like two years ago. This is the living room completely empty. You're gonna see a lot of blue stickies all over the place because we have painters coming in tomorrow to get this place ready. My dogs have been locked in for quite some time now. Oh my god, we're gonna Wait, let me unveil the room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we walk through memory lane again? Memory lane. Remember when I first walked in here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's been two years. It doesn't even feel like that long. So, just so you know, I'm saying I've already shipped them in the moving truck all of our um, floor plans that we got for this house. Uh huh. And I'm gonna frame them because this house will forever be my special house. Like, I would never, matter whatever happens, do my house. Anyway, should let the dogs out. Let the dogs out. I can see that there are little shadows at the bottom. Tiger! Hey. Um, Tiger's confused. Mango's really confused. Mango's like, what's going on? Oh my god, it's 
not for me, don't it's me. For me. Sophie, it's for Sophie. How are we gonna survive this night? You ask, well, let me look in my suitcase of all the things that I have. That's it, that's all I have. How am I gonna sleep? You won't know until tomorrow. You won't know until the next video. But you know what I do know? I know that you need to get your $30 sign up bonus by checking the link in the description and signing up for Rakuten because that's that's just smart money moves. I think I'm delusional. I think I'm losing my mind. I hear my voice and I'm like, who is that sound that doesn't sound like me? A few moments later. Um, what's going on here? Who, who, who are you in bed with? <laughs> Tiger, who are you in bed with? Right? I don't think I've been this physically exhausted in so long. In like oh at God. least three years. <laughs> no, three years, no. I tell you. Um, this is not okay, guys. We don't even have a chair. We don't have a chair. Not even a cushion. This is the most <laughs> comfortable spot that I can find. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just like that. Bye.